How do you discover the first egg? Well, you need to back out of Diamond Dynasty and then go all the way down to the Moments tab inside of your MLB The Show 24 home screen. And in there, you will click onto other programs and see that there is an egg hunt category for moments to do. You complete these moments and you are rewarded with the first egg. For egg number two, we are now heading into single player modes inside Diamond Dynasty. In specific, we're going to Showdown. Inside of Showdown, there is going to be a starter showdown. You are going to start your draft. You are going to draft your team. And then once you have drafted your team and you have set up the lineup how you want it to be, you can just go ahead and skip to the second moment where you see the egg at and it will take you directly in there. You beat the moment and are awarded the egg. To get the third egg, you're gonna have to head inside of ranked. And inside of ranked, all you have to do is get a stolen base. So my biggest tip would be, if you don't really care about your rank record, just load up a team full of speedsters and get a single with one of them and just try to steal second base or try to steal third base. Do that every single opportunity you get the chance to without giving yourself up and allowing the opponent to pitch out every single time. And because it is a stat mission, you can quit out as soon as the stat is completed and go ahead and get the egg. Egg number four is similar to what it was last year. You see the Cardinals, Orioles, and Blue Jays. You basically have to go into single player modes and beat one of those teams in play versus CPU. You have to play out the full nine innings. What I would highly suggest is facing whichever one is the weakest one in terms of overall on rookie difficulty and then playing at a stadium where you can also get a triple because one of the eggs later on require you to get a triple inside of Diamond Dynasty. So why not try to knock out two things at once? I would also play at home. That way you have less hitting opportunities just in case you do end up getting the triple pretty early on. Once you have established a good lead, since you're playing on rookie difficulty, I would just start bunting just to make it go a lot quicker. Only reminder that if you are enjoying today's content, make sure to hit the like button or subscribe button notification bell. Check out the description for the Twitch second MLB The Show channel as well as our Discord and social medias. Make sure you're following if you're not following already. For egg five, we are going to go into multiplayer modes. If you have a current Battle Royale entry, you're gonna want to forfeit it and start a brand new one. Inside of that brand new one, you are going to want to draft Wade Ball. Why do you want to draft Wade Boggs? Because the gold Wade Boggs is good enough to go ahead and get a base hit with and obtain that egg. You can quit out as soon as you get the hit with Wade Boggs as stat missions, once you achieve the stat, are automatically complete. To get egg number six, you're going to have to open packs, and by opening packs, you will have the opportunity to pull a jelly bean. Once you have obtained 15 of these jelly beans, you go into the collect section and then exchanges section and then exchange items. You are going to exchange 15 of those jelly beans in order to get that egg. Now there are a ton of ways for you to get free packs. They're going to be throughout the programs as well as single player modes, conquest maps in particular, and then obviously the online programs as well. We are going to open 10 standards just to see how many eggs we're gonna be able to get. And look at that, we pull a diamond with it and we get our first egg. So maybe the drop rate isn't that bad. I was happy though. Wow, hold on, that's two diamonds. Let's enter into the, the animation for this. It looks like it's Blake Snell again. Ali Rutschman, we'll take that as well. Maybe these packs are just juice to a T and if it's not an egg it's a diamond or maybe I just spoke too soon all right that's another jelly bean so two jelly beans and two diamonds <laughs> some people are gonna say blade you are the luckiest guy in the world three jelly beans four jelly beans five jelly beans and a third diamond another purple though but we can't complain 10 standards, three diamonds, and we get what people call my twin? You can't complain about that, right? You gotta be happy. To get egg number seven, all you need to do is hit a triple inside of Diamond Dynasty. To make getting the triple a little bit easier for yourself, I would highly suggest going into single player modes, playing against the CPU, and loading your one through nine with 99 speed hitters that also have a bit of pop. 
you can go ahead and face the Colorado Rockies on rookie difficulty at Coors Field and try to get a triple within the first half. If you do not get a triple within that first half, then you just go ahead and quit out and rinse and repeat the process of facing them on rookie difficulty. As soon as you get the triple, you are allowed to quit out and receive the egg because for stat missions, you don't need a certain amount of plate appearances in order for the stat missions to be completed. Want to clarify when I mean quit after the first half, I'm not talking about the game. I'm talking about the inning. So you would be playing as away once three outs have been made and you have not hit the triple, you quit out rinse and repeat for egg number eight which is coming from events i'm not 100 percent sure what to tell you guys in terms of what to do all i know is you have to play events now i will go into my game history and show you guys what happened in the two event games i played the first one i lost five to three inside that event game i had four hits what were the four hits a double with dylan cruz a home run with Byron Buxton and a home run with Manzardo. I had two RBIs with Byron Buxton, one RBI with Manzardo. I struck out once and did not get walked at all. In terms of pitching, I went ahead and allowed three hits with Burns, one earned run, one strikeout, Alvarado, two hits, one earned run, and then Phillips had three hits, three earned runs, and then last but not least, Bummer, he struck out one, and the only person that pitched a complete inning was Burns. Inside my second game, I also lost 4-2. to two. What happened in that game? Manzardo hit a double, Rutschman hit a home run, and then I had two RBIs from Rutschman. The only person that had an additional hit was Bobby Wood Jr., and he simply got a single. In terms of pitching, Wheeler pitched one inning, one hit, one earned run, Fairbanks .2, two hits, one earned run, and then Williams, one full inning, two hits, two earned runs, and then last but not least, Edwin Diaz came in to just face one hitter or get one out. So in terms of events, I can't pinpoint exactly what it is you have to do. Some people are speculating it's a double and a home run, but I would just suggest since events is the only game mode that your record is not impacted in, the only thing that is impacted within it is stats, is just to continue playing events and hopefully, eventually you get it or someone in the comments leaves down below how they got it. Get egg number nine, we go into single player modes mini season and into the classic mode mini seasons. You are going to enter and you are going to face the CPU on all-star difficulty. Once you have won the game on all-star difficulty, you will be awarded egg number nine. Egg number 10 is going to be found inside of Conquest. In specific, you go inside of the Egg Hunt Conquest map, and in turn one, you just make a line directly to the Orioles, and you're going to be facing them on all-star difficulty. Of course, you can reinforce to make it a much easier difficulty. So you're finally done with the Egg Hunt. What's coming to MLB the show soon? Season Awards, which is basically the replaced version of Tops Now, Headliners Packs, Three Legendary Storylines, Team Affinity Chapter 2, and New Rank Battle Royale and Event. That is all coming within the next two weeks. The new ranked Battle Royale and event is coming on the 12th of April. So make sure you finish it now, but we are done with today's video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Check out the description for the Twitch, Discord, as well as social media links and second YouTube channel. Follow if you guys are not following already. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out.